Several people had uh, asked questions about the events, specifically the uh, control of the power and the fan for this roast that I did back on October 21st of 2014. So this is what the final version of the uh, recording looks like from Artisan. And this is essentially the same as what I showed in the earlier video. If you go to the six minute mark in the prior video, the only thing I did is I added some additional events here at the very end so that these lines go all the way out to literally the end of the roast. But this top line here, the black um, line, is the power where I reduced the power to 90% and then went lower from there. So if I actually look at the roast properties and the events, this shows those changes. So I had 100% power, then I guess I dropped it to 80% here at uh, the 850 mark, and then I dropped it to 70%, and then I stayed at 70%. So it was 100% for almost the entire roast, then 80, then 70 till the end. And then the fan, I had no fan until I get to what on my roaster is end of drying, which was about 615. That's when I hit 280 degrees Fahrenheit. That's my indication on the this particular roaster of what end of drying is. It's not the same as what some other people have with different roasters. So at that point, I change the fan, bump it up to 25%. When I get up to about two minutes from first crack, I bump the fan up to 50% and then leave it that way till the end of the roast. Something else that someone asked about is how can I even get these things to display? And this was as shown up here. It was Artisan version 9.9 .9 is what I'm showing here. You actually have to change this left hand axis to go all the way down to 100 degrees and then it will show these fan and power events down in that area. The right hand axis is for the bean temperature and the uh, change in the bean temperature specifically. So I've got it set as you know 60 up here to kind of give me a bunch of spare room up here at the top. 